I'm Laura Nativo, and this is Safety First, powered by Embrace Pet Insurance. Embrace knows that a well-trained dog is a safe dog, and that's why I'm going to show you fun and simple ways to teach your dog to sit until released. Sit is one of the most important foundation skills for dogs. It could be at your front door, on the curb, or entering the vet's office, but teaching your dog to sit, stay, and pay attention to you is helpful as a default behavior wherever you need to help keep your dog out of dangerous situations, like darting into the street at the crosswalk. First, let's create a quiet training space. Treats? Check. Clicker? Check. Let's go. The first step is to think about your end goal. What does the behavior look like? For sit, we want our dog's bottom to touch the ground and ultimately, we want them to stay in a position until released. There are two simple ways to do this. To capture a sit, I'm going to wait until my dog naturally offers the sit in anticipation of the treat. I click or say yes the instant my dog's bottom hits the ground and quickly reward them. Oftentimes, a dog will offer a variety of behaviors in a guessing game to be rewarded. Capturing is a super fun way to encourage your dog to think as they're learning. There is also a more traditional method. To lure the sit, I hold the treat just above the dog's snout and slowly lure them up and back into position. As my dog's head goes up, their bottom usually goes down naturally. I click the instant their bottom hits the ground and reward. Practice this a few times using the method of your choice. Once your dog is offering a sit, it's time to put it on cue, which is like a command but provides an opportunity for your dog to be rewarded versus a command which kind of implies your dog doesn't have a choice. To cue your dog sit, you can use the word sit. Sit. Yes. A hand gesture or even use a sign or some creative way to encourage your dog to sit on cue. Once your dog understands the game, add the word sit just before they begin to move. Mark the behavior with either a yes or click the instant their bottom hits the ground. Perfect that sit by working in different locations and add in elements such as duration, distance, Sit. Very good. And distractions. <laughs> Feel free to try any of these at home. The ultimate goal for a sit is to have your dog also stay until released. By teaching your dog a release cue like OK or break, your dog will learn that they need to hear that word before breaking their stay. Okay. Thanks for watching. Remember, to make the behavior reliable, it takes practice. By practicing sit frequently using force-free positive reinforcement methods in a variety of locations, your dog may learn to think for themselves and automatically offer a sit as a natural default behavior. With consistency and repetition, we can help empower our dogs by teaching them that making good choices is rewarding. If you like what you see here, click thumbs up and subscribe to the Embrace channel. And please comment below with a video of your dog showing off what they've learned. See you next time.